I'm excited today to be able to give you all a tour of our crematory. At Tharp Funeral Home, we have crematories that on site at our facilities, so we actually take and supervise the entire process from start to finish, and we're proud of how we do things. First, I'd like to show you what many people call the crematory, but it's actually called the retort. This is where the cremation takes place. Um, an average cremation from start to finish can take about four hours and the machine itself will, the internal temperature will raise to about 1600 degrees. Um, on the movies oftentimes you see cremation and it, it looks like there's fire and it's really not like that. The chamber heats up to that higher temperature and then the cremation process begins naturally once the, the internal chamber reaches that uh, level of degrees. After the cremation is completed, we bring uh, the cremated remains forward and we take them over here. This is actually a processing station where the cremated remains are then pulverized so they may be placed into urns for scattering or for keepsakes or for uh, keepsake jewelry, whatever it is that the family may want uh, to have. In many cases, families will bury an urn in the cemetery or they will place it in a columbarium niche uh, at their church uh, or they might have a scattering out in, uh, on the family farm. It's really up to them at that point. I wanted to make sure everyone that is aware at Tharp Funeral Home, we have a process that will step back over here where two different staff members have to verify the person's identity through every step in this process. When we bring an individual into our care at Tharp Funeral Home, they are given an identity band with their name on it and a stainless steel disc with a number is assigned to that individual. And that number in this disc is going to stay with the individual's remains for the entire process from start to finish. Because obviously once the cremation starts, there's no way for that identity band to stay with them. It's not going to remain intact during the cremation. But this stainless steel disc with their number will. So it stays with them actually in the retort and then it comes with them over here to the processing area. And that disc is again how we verify and confirm a person's identity from start to finish. But at Tharp, we go an extra step. We make two different staff members confirm the identity as we go through these different steps all the way to when we place the cremated remains inside the urn. That way we're able to guarantee with 100% accuracy that an urn we give back to a family member does contain their loved one and there have been no mistakes that have occurred along the way. We have a log sheet that we require that as you can see has a number of steps and you'll see the two spaces where the two different staff members uh, have to sign off on every step. And that way we can make sure that you know, one person can make a mistake. But when we've got two people that are checking, you know, we actually develop this system with the help of Cana. If you'll look here on the wall, Cana is the Cremation Association of North America. And all of the individuals that uh, run our cremation processing here have been certified. They've been through training at Cana to make sure we're doing things accurately and correctly. They helped us develop this system. We're the only ones in the region, however, that require two people to sign off on each step, and we're very proud of that. The other points I wanted to raise today were many families aren't aware of the legal requirements of cremation in the state of Virginia. There's three uh, primary steps that have to take place legally before we can uh, take, have a cremation take place in Virginia. The first is that the doctor, the attending physician to the person that's passed away, has to sign the death certificate. And of course that's the legal proof that a person has passed away and it lists the cause of death. The reason we have to have a signed death certificate from the physician is cremation is an irreversible procedure. We're not in a position where we can go back and exhume a body and try to determine a cause of death after cremation. So we have to have that cause of death established definitively prior to the cremation. So step one is the physician signing the death certificate. Step two is we have to have the medical examiner on duty come and actually inspect the person's remains. And this is the form in the Commonwealth of Virginia that the uh, 
medical examiner on duty has to complete as they go through this process. So what they do is they come and they look at the death certificate that the doctor has signed and they confirm the records, the medical records, that that makes sense as a cause of death for that individual. They also do a visual inspection of the deceased remains to make sure there's no obvious sign of trauma. Again, they want to make sure this is what you know was the cause of death of this person. There hasn't been any foul play. Once the uh, medical examiner on duty has completed that inspection, he or she then signs this document giving us per permission to cremate the individual. The last step, however, is that the loved one's next of kin has to sign a form that we have here giving the funeral home permission to cremate the individual. Now in Virginia, there's a law called right of disposition, and this is something that can create some conflict within families from time to time. Many people assume that it's actually the spouse who has the authority to determine what happens to a person remains after death, but they actually have a co-equal right of disposition with adult children. So what that means is, if you have an individual that's a spouse, if she or he does not have the same opinion about what should happen with the deceased as the adult children do, you can have a conflict. So again, it's the funeral director's responsibility to explain the law to the family, to protect the family members, so there can't be someone that would come back later uh, and try to take issue with that cremation. At Tharp, again, we explain all this to families. We have all the updated legal paperwork, and we take them step by step as we go through this process.